I hate within the black community that we have this crab in the bucket mentality where if somebody has an opinion or a thought that goes against the status quo or tradition or whatever nonsense somebody comes up with to make somebody else conform their reasoning, we have this, I don't know, habit of shutting them down or giving them a label of a coon or Uncle Tom. And we do about serious stuff like politics. But when we talk about black people who do harmful stuff within our own community, like, you know, gangs and, you know, multiple baby daddies or baby mamas or stuff like that, we make excuses. Like, politically speaking, I don't understand why we're so attached to the Democratic Party. It makes no sense because we're talking about politics here. And for these people to go up to Washington, they need our votes. And for them to get our votes, they need to earn them. They shouldn't be just expected of us. And that's what I think the Democratic Party feels. I mean, Joe Biden said, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. And we still fucking voted for him. And he's still the president. I don't understand why we let these politicians feel so comfortable about getting our votes. They should be working for us like they're American politicians. Their job isn't to go up there and bullshit and make money off of our backs and our taxes and stuff. They need to be arguing and negotiating for our benefit. And I feel like the only way we can really get that to happen is if we take back our votes and take back our value from them. We need to not just be so quick to vote Democrat every single year. We need to be willing to vote Republican and make them do stuff that is beneficial to the average American. I feel like no matter what your race is, we all have the same problem for the most part. We all want lower taxes while we're more rages more money, peace, safety, our families be protected, you know, health care, stuff like that. And for us to just so quickly align ourselves to the party takes away a lot of our value as a vote and takes away a lot of our negotiating power. If you was to go and get a car, you wouldn't go and take the first deal that the dealership would offer to you. You would negotiate and try to bring it down lower. You will try to get it to a place where you're more comfortable and you feel more secure. Why can't we do that with politics? Why can't we demand these politicians who claim to represent the minorities to actually do stuff, you know, for minorities? And I don't mean handouts. I just mean stuff that the average American would like. Lower taxes, less bullshit, less bloating of our government and all the money that go to politicians or all these other facilities that we don't need. I'm not a pure small government guy, but I am in favor of the average person, the American citizen, having more of their money. And I think we can do that if we stop putting this shit in bullshit programs where senators and other representatives and politicians can take the top off and get their own money. We need to take out um, investing in companies while you're a member of Congress. So many members of Congress got rich off the pandemic. Because they knew what companies they were going to give grants to or they were going to sign contracts to. And they invested into those countries before those contracts were given. And after those contracts were given to those companies, their stocks shot up. So, of course, those senators who invested beforehand made a fuck ton of money. But they're not going to talk about that on social media or mainstream media. This is the type of shit we need to care about. We need to stop giving a fuck about the shade room and all this drama with celebrities and all this other bullshit with entertainers. There's no reason why the president or the president-elect should be coming out with Cardi B or any other entertainer or athlete to talk to me about politics. If you want to talk to me about politics, come out with Thomas Sowell or come out with another economist or a some type of professional, man. Like somebody that invests their time and life into knowledge and thought and politics and stuff that matters in our life. I don't give a fuck about no dumbass rapper or no dumbass singer when I need to figure out how I'm a fucking take care of my family and all this other important stuff every single day i think it's it's insulting that they come out there with singers and entertainers to try to get black people to show up for their political events like who the fuck and what the fuck do they know about politics in my everyday life they don't live my everyday life and they're not invested in the world or their politics of the country so why is they being brought out as some type of magnet for me like it makes no sense we need to stop allowing this shit to happen And in my opinion, the only way we can do that, if we take control of our votes and take control of our political power. And I'm not saying for people just go vote Republican or another party. You can vote whatever the fuck you want. 
I'm an independent person. I don't align to any party. Because I think they're both full of shit right now. I just feel like us as a community need to step back and not just be so quick to jump on the Democratic Party train. But that's just my opinion. It's your boy Logos, and I'll see you on that song.